What's poppin'? Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is fresh cash. Fresh, 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 fresh cash. Friday, baby. Yeah, to boost this up a little. We need some more boost in this. Boost, boost, boost. All right, we are dialed in. We are ready. Woo, buddy. What a fucking... Look at this move overnight. What in the absolute fuck? I think, I guess the Israel, Israel, Israel launched some rockets last night and then Iran said they weren't going to retaliate. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my, look at that move. Oh my baby, 400 points. Last night from the seven, 17,514 we dropped all the way down there to the 183s. And then now we're back at where we closed at yesterday. Oh, like anybody buy the dip last night? Anybody buy the dip? Anybody? Anybody? Did you buy the dip? Holy, go I actually was looking at this last night. I think it was like 10 o'clock or whenever I was looking at it. And I was like, fucking A, is this thing going to just keep going down, down, down? And I think it was like right in this moment, but I ended up not really messing with it. But that reclaim of the VWAP there. Not a bad move from the 322s up there to the 520s now. So about a 200 point move there. So basically, I guess uh, Israel, Israel, why is it so hard to say Israel? They, uh, I guess, launched some uh, missiles or something last night. I don't fucking know. Can't keep track, baby. All right, all right, we're live. We got the fucking uh, leopard print shirt on for Fresh Cash Friday. You know what that means. Let's go. All right, all right. You can see, uh, interesting too, that 15 minute range right now acting as a resistance there, that 17, 5, 50 area, so. It's time to party, my friends. I'm fucking pumped up. It's Friday. I do love Fridays, you know, make that money, honey. Friday, normally for me, uh, pretty good overall. So I feel like the reason Fridays are normally pretty good is because I'm pretty quick to take profit on a Friday and then I just kind of don't get greedy. So during the week, it's easy to get greedy because you're like, oh, it's Tuesday. I got to make more money. But on Friday, you're like, well, I'm going to take what I get and I'm going to fucking get out of here. I actually got to go to the bank. At 10 o'clock or probably 11 o'clock to uh, wire some money for the new boat. I went yesterday and wired some money and then uh, basically now I got to wire more money. I just want more, 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 more money. More money, more problems, baby. You guys pumped up? Are you pumped up? Fresh Cast Friday, baby. If you guys haven't already hit that like button, you know what to do. It's Friday. We got some big giveaways going down next week. Giving away Apex accounts, giving away $500. Next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're going to give away $500 to one lucky person. That would basically cover, you know, five activation fees for a 50K account with uh, Apex, or you can use it to pay your rent or your cell phone bill or whatever the fuck. But um, we'll talk more about that. Pretty much uh, next week, but we're going to be doing some big giveaways. It's the last and final week next week for the 80% one day pass with Apex. And uh, we're pumped up here, baby. Pumped it, pumped it, pumped it. Right now, look at this move overnight. Ugh. I don't know what's going to happen here. We'll find out. Um, somebody asked me, why do you wear your mom's top? Uh, my mom's dead, so it's not her top. Um, it's mine. But I guess, you know, whatever you need to tell yourself. What the fuck Friday? Oh, it's going to be what the fuck Friday.
What is what are we gonna do here today? This move overnight. Oh god. We had the VWAP there at the 380s. 17,380 area. We broke all look at that. We got a fuck. That's a lot of a lot of room to that VWAP again. Ugh. I don't know. We've Constantly, we've seen these overnight pumps, and then when the market actually opens, it dumps. So, I'm not going to get my hopes up here for some type of, I don't know, just we'll, we'll see what happens, but. Um, yeah. We'll see what happens here. On the hourly chart, pushing back up into this resistance at that 580 area that was resistance there yesterday also support there on the hourly chart in the morning and then we broke through there so let's kind of watch that 5 uh 90 600 level there's a pivot point there at the 608s as well and then this level like 652 so there's an hourly uh kind of imbalance still intact right there at the 600s and then uh, up to the 58s or so And then, um, yeah, pivot point right there. Pivot point at the 17,608 level on the NASDAQ right now. We were going to open up with a, um, we were going to open up with a bit of a gap, but we ended up closing that gap already pre-market. So we'll be opening pretty much right where we closed at yesterday. So insane move here overnight. Very, I mean... This is one of those kind of once in a quarter type of move right there. <laughs> once every three months or so. A absolute just murder. We closed yesterday and then overnight dumped all the way down there to that 17,180 pivot point and then guess what? We rip all the way back up here. So a massive range here overnight. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think about this right now. Either way, I think the best plan is to play it safe and uh do what we always do. Wait for our setups, baby. Wait for our setups, and then we make the money, honey. What do you guys got going on this week? Anybody got any good plans? Any fun plans? I was supposed to go to the Bahamas, but now I sold my boat, and then I'm buying another boat. I'm supposed to go do a uh, sea trial, an inspection of the new boat um, tomorrow. So I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle between boats right now. I'm also looking at some new warehouse space as well. I'm trying to get a warehouse. I want a warehouse. I want the Patrick Whelan Fun Factory warehouse. Have a little trading uh, office, have a gym, have a kind of a podcast area, have the live streaming area. Just have a whole compound of just uh, fun stuff, basically. Just the, an adult playground of uh, fun stuff. Maybe put a ping pong table in there. You never know. Park a couple nice cars, make it look real fun, real cool. Captain Jim going uh, spearfishing 100 miles due west of John's past. All right. I like it. The crash was caused by the Iran strike. Yes. Uh, we, we pointed that out already, but thank you for letting me know. But it, I think it was Israel attacked Iran, right? And then Iran basically came out saying they were not going to do anything. Right? It's so hard to keep up with all this fucking uh, bullshit, to be honest. I'm not really going to try to get into the political of it, but I do think that 
there there really is no perfect answer for the Middle East. I mean, there's that there has been conflict and there has been war in the Middle East since the goddamn Crusades, since the dawn of time, since there has been written words. There has been issues in the Middle East. Do you really think that magically, all of a sudden, in 2024, thousands of years later, everybody's going to live fucking happy in Kumbaya? No. So, I don't really have a side, to be honest. I think there just there really is no like perfect answer to it all. Um, and that's kind of the best way to, I think, to look at it. I don't know enough about it to sit here and, and uh, to really talk about it other than the fact that I just think that you've got to be honest it, you know the Middle East is a has been a war zone since the fucking dawn of time you know so I'm definitely not condoning the war by any means and uh, I don't like I, I think the people that live there most people that live in that area probably would like to have the peace as well I think it's the the governments and the politicians that are really Hyping this shit up. Um, what does it mean with under review and the payout request? I think you're good to go. Don't worry. It's, it should be like, it should go from like pending to like under review and then approved. Peace of the Middle East. I mean, it's, it's that simple, baby. The holy grail of, uh, of human I ideas would be to somehow find peace in the Middle East. I just don't know if it's possible. Priority should be America. I mean, me having an opinion of the Middle East does not really remove my priority of America. Somebody is using the Weeble futures. Weeble has futures now. I think, isn't uh, Robinhood going to have futures soon as well? That's what I've heard. You know what? The, you know, it's pretty, it, it actually, it's always, uh, I don't know, maybe not surprising, but it's always a cool feeling. So I actually, um, trying to, I'm trying to get some stuff. I got I to gotta, uh, do some work to my dock. So I have a dock for the boat, you know, the boat parks on the dock and then floats on the dock and I'm getting a bigger boat. So I got to make the dock bigger. So I emailed the company about making the dock bigger. And it was funny because the guy who answered the email actually watches my YouTube videos and says that he's a trader and he watches my videos. Like how sick is that? Just, it's actually happened multiple times now where I've emailed companies about stuff and they reply they respond going like hey I watch your YouTube videos I'm like sick it's a crazy world we live in small world and then the waiter the other day the waiter watches my videos too I can't go anywhere without fucking being noticed now even when I went and bought the McLaren, I bought the McLaren and somebody said that they saw me at the dealership. I gotta be, I gotta hide out there, people. People, I gotta be, I'm a little worried, to be honest. I don't know, is this, do you guys think that I should be worried at some point that some crazy person from the internet might kill me? I feel, I do have a bit of worry about that sometimes. <laughs> I do feel like sometimes I might end up pissing off the wrong person in the chat and then they're gonna find me and murder me. So... If I ever get, if I ever, if anyone ever, if I ever die, if I ever die, you know it was a murder. It was not natural because I am in the best shape ever. I am fucking the perfect specimen of health. So if I die, you know someone murdered me. If you don't change your ways, well, I'm not changing my fucking ways for some pussy on the internet that's going to come murder me. So, yeah. There you go. Change your ways, Patrick. Oh, I'm going to keep on winning. That's what I'm gonna keep on doing. I'm gonna ch what ways am I gonna change? What ways am I gonna the winning ways? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, but honestly, I think if I ever get my warehouse, if I get the warehouse office set up, 
Like I might have to, I might have to hire like a fucking armed security guard. Honestly, it's crazy. I might have to. Well, that's a higher armed security guard. Anybody an armed security guard in the chat want to be my personal security guard? I'm looking for somebody big, strong, scary looking. I don't really need you to do anything other than to stand there and look scary. You got to be at least like six. I want somebody who's like six, six, fucking 300 pounds, baby. They could pick me up. When I go to the, when I go to the bar and I get too drunk, they can just pick me up and carry me out of the bar. That'd be great. You know, not only being my security, but also taking care of me when I need it, you know. You speak German? Oh, I like that. That'd be sick. What if I had a security guard that only spoke German and everywhere that we go, we have to speak German to talk. I don't really know a lot of German, but I could figure it out, you know. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. I'll figure it out. All right, so right now, the NASDAQ, a massive move overnight. We had the Iran news, and then we popped off of this 160 area all the way back up there. That's what's crazy is like this is the like this is like an FOMC type of move. This is like fucking a if this happened during actual market hours, everybody would be like, oh, like look at that move 400 points, just do 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 do. So, we'll see what happens here today. Expecting, I'm not expecting much, to be honest. Kevin the house, I speak Chinese and Spanish. Hmm. <laughs> today is gonna be a tricky one. I got a feeling they're gonna it's gonna be all types of tricky today. Watch this thing just sell all the way back down to that low again. We've pretty much we've just had these uh you know these pops and these drops like pretty much every like this was this is pre market move, right? We go up, pre market move, overnight move, we go up. Same thing here, pre-market move, we go up. You can see what they're doing, I mean. It's literally done this now since, uh, basically Thursday. These are the overnight pre-market moves, and then the dump, pre-market move, dump, pre-market move, dump, pre-market move, dump, pre-market move. Well, is the pattern gonna repeat is the question now. Every night we've pumped and then dumped. So, uh. We'll find out. Do you use a Fibonacci? I use the Fibonacci as uh, every once in a while, but nothing too crazy. Is that Fibonacci? We got a pivot point down there at the 445s. We got the VWAP down there, 397s. VWAP, 399 area. We could get a nice little pullback maybe into that VWAP. Unless they just fucking ramp this thing up. I don't know. Right now, definitely looking like... VWAP down there. I mean, this is the hourly chart, so maybe like one of those. I don't know. I don't know. I do know that normally big moves overnight end up choppy morning opens, so. We'll see what happens. Jeffrey Me got four PAs working on five. Let's go. All right, we got plenty of time here until market opens. Right now, VWAP to the downside there. I 
I think it's looking plausible. This is the 30 minute chart as well. I feel like 30 minute chart you can see, even if we were gonna break out here, it's like we'd probably have to kind of at least move down here for 60s or so. The uh, VWAP on the ES at the 5,016s as well right now. So VWAP very much to the downside on both the ES, the NASDAQ, the Dow. So we're far off the VWAP right now. And we know that that VWAP loves to get touched. So what does that mean? I don't know exactly, but we will find out. I'm gonna put my glasses on to figure this out. I gotta see everything, man. Okay, okay, okay. We got it all lined up. Ooh, buddy. What we got? What we got? Who's got it? Looking at all the different time frames. Exciting times. If you guys haven't already hit the like button, let's go. Do you use teasers and dredges? Uh, bringing the boat. Not. We don't really, we kind of, Florida fishing is a little different. Fishing on the kite. We don't really use the dredge that much or a teaser. Sometimes we'll use a teaser or something, but it's hard with the uh, center console. It's not the easiest to do. Sometimes it just gets in the way and we end up not using it. So right now the NASDAQ, pull it back here, 14 EMA. We got pivot point down there, 445s. I don't hate it. I, I think it's a, a decent spot to bounce off of we'll find out here this move overnight it just it's a lot of that's a lot of up and down so we'll see what happens what am i looking for to enter um looking just looking for some action baby Papa Bull, just wanted to say a big thank you for your hard work. Started my journey in trading with one of your videos. Now he's profitable. His family greatly appreciates me. Wow. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Normally they just say I'm fat or I'm ugly or I suck or ICT is better than me, but it's always nice when somebody, uh, you know, It's always nice if someone gives you some love. Give me some love, baby. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Good morning, good morning. It's Fresh Cash Friday. Let's get some more likes here on the stream. We got a thousand people watching. We got a hundred likes. Market right now, moving on down. Moving on down. <laughs> moving on. Down seventy thousand four forty five down there.
Ooh, buddy, down to the 83s now. Looks like we are working our way down there, just like we talked about earlier into this 460 area. VWAP there at the 92s. The 30-minute chart. Jason Webb won the only Proverbs daily giveaway. Let's go. We're giving away $100 every day at OnlyProverbs.com. That's right. $100 every day to one lucky person. We've got some big giveaways going on next week. Don't forget. Use the code PW when you sign up. It's the easiest code to type in. It's only just PW. PW, baby. So get it in there. We got some big giveaways coming. I want to give away a fucking car. I've been talking to my like business partner and stuff, and they're like, they think I'm crazy, but I want to fucking I want to give away something sick. Hundred thousand dollars to somebody out there who uh uses my code, so. Be pretty sick. We're gonna do it, baby. Don't make it a luxury car. I'm thinking maybe like a an Audi R8 or a hundred thousand cash, or maybe my truck. Maybe I'll put the big F250 up. You can win the F250. You can win an Audi R8, or you could win a hundred thousand cash. Up to you. And it'd just be basically every time you use the code, you get an enter entry into win. So, Papa Bull wants a blacked out Escalade. For 100,000, you could do it, I guess. It's going to start next Monday. So, next week is the last and final week for Apex, but we got a way for you to basically sign up, use the code PW, and then get an entry into a uh, chance to win. $2,000 next week, and then we got a lot of accounts to give away and fun stuff as well. But then let's get to a point where I want to get, like I said, give away at least $100,000 cash. $100,000 cash. Or the F250. Maybe we'll just do the F250 or the $100,000 cash. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, only Prof Firms is just a website for comparing different. Um, First, second, and third. I don't know. Maybe first place is 100,000. Maybe second place is something else. And then maybe third place is something else. I don't know. How much is the F-250 worth? I think the F-250 is worth at least 120,000. I mean, I bought it brand new for 100 grand. I put about $60,000 into it. So I think... F-250 should win. All right, so we are waiting. NASDAQ right now, 15-minute chart. We got a pivot point down there at the 442s. And then I'm also kind of watching this uh, level there. You can see this area that we had previous resistance before breaking out, 460 area. An autographed PW custom fishing rod. I'm in. Sign me up. Yeah, no, we got. I gotta do a day out. I gotta take some subscribers out fishing soon. This summertime, when this, when now that we're not doing the tournaments anymore and we're doing more fun fishing, we get, I'll definitely plan out a day to take like four or five people fishing for the day. Do a little Patrick Wheeland fishing experience for free to a couple of lucky subscribers. Fly you in from New York. What? 
I'm on the East Coast. I'm in Fort Lauderdale. Darren Brown, you know somebody that wants to learn from the ground up. Oof. I'm actually working on a new master class. Um, kind of just like a whole sum of a very simple kind of summary course book master class. I'm working on a book. I got a book coming out, and then I'm working on like another master class that kind of just goes through like prop firm trading, a very simple strategy for prop firm trading, and then just kind of the overall. Because there's a lot of people out there who who want to get into trading and just don't have like a I don't know. It's it's hard. It's there's so much information, you know. There's so much information out there that it's hard to uh, to know, you know, what information you should actually read and all that. So, remember when Danny called me a leprechaun? Yeah. I remember when he talked a lot of shit. And I also remember when he thought that he was rich because he had an old Ferrari and a old uh, Rolls Royce and thought he was richer than me. Whatever you got to tell yourself, little buddy. Patrick, I'm so rich. I got an old ass fucking Rolls Royce and an old Ferrari. That's how rich I am. Yeah. Cool, dude. Uh, Mike, T uh, Mike Tyson or Jake Paul? I don't honestly. I have no idea what what that what whole situation. I mean, in theory, in theory, I don't see how Jake Paul is not going to get killed by Mike Tyson. But like, I don't know. Are they wearing? Are they wearing? Uh, hel I think I thought Jake Paul was wearing a helmet. Is what I heard. Or he's wearing like a yeah. What do you call it? One of those like padding. No headgear? 16 ounce gloves. I don't know. I just. <clears throat> I mean, I get Tyson's 57, but I mean, fuck, dude. I, I've seen some videos of Tyson hitting the bag, and I mean, I feel like one hit. One hit of those, you're fucking, you're out of breath. You get one of those hits to the gut, you're fucked. Like if Mike Tyson hits you in the fucking gut or in the fucking, in the rib cage or the fucking kidney on, oh, you'd be done. You'd fucking, you'd be on the ground crying. I get, I know, hey, 100%, Jake Paul, whatever, he can do it. But I mean, still. Yeah, in the liver, oof. Oh god, that would hurt so bad. Just a fucking hook. Have you seen Mike Tyson's hook? It's like, whoosh, fuck. He puts his whole. Oh god. Gut punch. Yeah, he fucking explode your gut. I mean, either way, though, I'm sure it'll be some type of funny shit. All right, we got eight minutes here, my friends. Eight minutes till Fresh Cash Friday. Fresh Cash Friday. Seven minutes. What do you guys got? Let's do a poll. Let's get some more likes here on the stream. We'll do a poll. What do you guys got? Are we going up? Are we going up or down? Let's ask the Magic 8-Ball. Mr. Magic 8-Ball! I don't know if shaking it that much really helps. Like, do you need to shake it? How many times are you supposed to shake the Magic 8-Ball? What's the, the recipe for shaking it? Is there a better number? I feel like the more you shake it, the better, right? All right, so Mr. Magic 8-Ball, will the market go up or will the, wait, we can only do one question. Will the market go up today? Whoop. 
That's a yes. You can't see it, but it says yes. It says yes. Y E S. Yes. There's got to be a prescribed number of shake. Magic eight ball shake shaker. Magic eight ball work. <laughs> Is the magic there's a, there's literally questions on you on uh, Google? Somebody answering a question. <laughs> Is the magic eight ball really psychic? I can help you replicate the psychic experience very simply. Just follow instructions below. Grab six pieces of small paper. <laughs> The question is, should I trust the magic eight ball? That's some funny shit, actually. Google, man. The fact that somebody literally Googled, should I trust the magic eight ball? You gotta love, you gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. All right, so the NASDAQ pulling back here. We had that 60 area we talked about earlier. Let's see, 460s. Will that be a key level for us to bounce here at open? You can see we got a pivot point right there, the 447s. 447 pivot point. Let's see what happened. <clears throat> what do we got today for news? We got any news today? No news. No news today. There's a Fed speaker at 1030, but shouldn't be that big of a deal. And uh, yeah, just Fresh Cash Friday, baby. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens today. Don't forget, only Proverbs give away $100 a day at OnlyProverbs.com. Check it out. Learn more about all the latest and greatest news and information. Da -da 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 did it do? Would the Asian low be this low? Is that we're calling the Asian low is all the way down to the seventeen thousand one eighty twos? That's the Asian low, or is there, are the Asian low is the Asian low here? Which low is which low is the low? I'm confused. There's too many lows here. One eighty two is the Asian low. Wow. I don't think there's any way I mean I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like there's no way we're gonna go all the way back to seventeen thousand one eighty. I don't know. What do you guys got? What do you think? Going to 15,000. 15,000 today? That seems a little, a little bearish. Gonna drop 2,000 points today. Get ready. Black Friday, baby. Right now, the poll, 52% say we're going to go down, 47% say we're going to go up. Well, right now, the NASDAQ reacting to that 66 level and pushing right back up there. We got two minutes until market opens. Like I said, this 60 area is a key level for the bulls. We got the VWAP down there at the 17,400. So there's a lot of support. You know, I don't think we're going to, I just don't think we're going to go straight Fucking down to the low. I think we'll get some chop or some consolidation, maybe a pop, and then the drop. That reaction off of that 60 level, very bullish reaction right there so far in the 30 minute candle. Look at that push right back up there to the 500s. So let's see what happens here at open. If we start to push up above that 520 level, I think we'll go to that pivot point up there next. So um, let's see what happens. 
17,608 pivot point to the upside there. But a 100 point move to the upside. We got uh, a little less than a minute here. If you guys haven't hit that like button, if you haven't already hit that uh, like button, you know what to do. You know what to do. What to do. What to do. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. 30 seconds. Watching that 520 level here at open. See if we just get a straight up shooter to the moon. Shoot it to the moon. Uh, my pivot levels are, I don't make the pivot levels. The pivot levels are an indicator. It's Fresh Cash fucking Friday, boys. Ooh, buddy. Here we go. Market is now open for business. Down there to the 460s again. See if we get this uh, pop straight up through the 80s. That pivot point down there at the 450s. If we get back above that 80 level strong, we should start to rip up. So watching that 80 level here. Eighty level holding us down. Gotta go deeper. Gotta go deeper first. Pivot point there. Uh, no trades yet. Just waiting to see kind of what's the reaction here. We're at that key level. We could start bouncing right back up from the 60s here. Dollar selling down. Trying to get this push back up here now. Let's see if we can get straight back up towards that 80 level again. Like I said, that 60 area key level to get bounced. Looking for 86s here. Not going to be too greedy. That 14 EMA is right there. See if I can get filled for $4,000. Off the 60s here. Oh, come on. A little bit of trouble there. Stopped out for a break even. Should have went right through there for now, but... A little too greedy on that one, but still had the right idea. I can always re-enter if we show strength there. Now it's got to push through the 80s. There she goes through the 80s now. Off the 60s, straight back up there to the 80s. Now let's see if we can go all the way to the 500s again. Can't see anything in my eyes. All right, we're in this range right now, two minute range. We have not broken out that 96 level, the range of the do uh, downside 44s. So, getting real tight here. Dollar selling down, NASDAQ ES trying to push up. The funny part is we're hitting that 30 minute kind of trend right now, but if we can get through here 500s, I think we go, go, go. So look at that 30 minute candle trying to get through the 500s.
Very tight action here. Watch that 500 break. If we break 500, let's see if we take out that all the way up there to the 50s next. Dollar selling. NASDAQ's pushing. The 30-minute chart showing strength. Pushing back out right now. Two-minute chart here. See if we can get through this range right here at the 95s with the breakout. First five-minute opening. You got the five-minute opening range right here. To see if we break through that 95 level next. Crypto chillin', do you actually have a trading strategy? Sometimes I buy high, sell low. Sometimes I buy low, sell high. It's a great strategy. Doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. David took a, took a long from the 450s out for $200. Let's go. All right, I'm just watching. See what happens here. If we get through that 500 level, I think we got at least 20, 30 points to the upside. Easy. Easy. Below 70s, not good sign. We were below the 14 EMA still there at the 95s. Was expecting some choppy action here at open with that huge move overnight. So, looks like we're getting it. No surprise here. Got the sell signal there. If we go through the 50s, take out that pivot point there at the 45s but expecting more choppy action until we break out of this range at least. VWAP down there, 17,400s. Coming up. That range, that opening range still playing right now. Look like we're going to break this downside, get through that pivot down to the VWAP is down there. VWAP at the 17,400s. VWAPA. Oh, buddy. Looks like one of those 15 minute opening range type days to wait to see where this 15 minute opening range plays out. Right now, sitting there at that pivot point at the 40s. VWAP down there, 17,403s. Looking real weak right here. Should try to take out that pivot point there and try to get this move down here now. Let's 
So you get that move right through the 30s here. Need to break through that 35s there. Just don't like that fucking keep bouncing. I'm getting out for break even for now. This fucking range is still just playing there. So we can always see. If we break through the 30s, I think we'll move to the 400s there next. Now it's going to go. Nasdaq right there at that pivot point for now. Pivot point acting as support. For now, get this breakthrough there. Nice little trap they just trapped there. This has got to sell down here. Look at that trap right there. Back up there to the 60s. We've got five minutes to break this 15 minute open range. I see a lot of people in the chat talking about getting short down here. Uh-oh. The chat looking overly bearish right now. Uh-oh. Holding that pivot point for now. But, 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 everybody in the chat said to get short down there. What happened? Dow is going straight up. The ES is still showing strength, trying to push. NASDAQ's chopping around down here at this pivot. Now, Zach, like right there at the 14 EMA, Let's see if it blasts through there. Will she blast on through? I think this is a reversal spot, boys. Get through the 14 EMA. The setup is here. This 30 minute candle again, reversing off of that imbalance if we get through that 500 level we'll get that 15 minute opening range breakout so see that 15 minute candle right now the opening range to get through 95s here and then up there into the 500 is next It looks bullish to me as of right now. This candle is about to close at the top of this range here. 
everybody in the chat that said to get short down at the bottom. What happened? What happened? All right, here we go. 15 minute range about to break. Watching that 17,500 level. Key level here. The ES, the SPY, both pushing straight up right now. QQQ also reversing nicely. I think we're going to go just straight through here. Let's go straight through that 500 is now. Oh. Took it off there for now. I can always re-enter. Was thinking we're just gonna go fucking boner candle right through there. Boner candle's coming. Play it safe. Boner candle. Boner candle. That 30 minute chart reversing there nicely off of the 60s, back up there to the 490s now. She wants it up to like 520s through the 500s. Should go right through the 500s there. There you go, up there through the 500s. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. But, 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 I would like everybody in the chat, everybody in the chat that said to short the bottom, I would like you to acknowledge your mistake, and I would like you to apologize to everybody else in the chat. I would like you to just apologize. Just apologize. Make the apology. Where are they at? There was multiple people in the chat that said, this is your last chance to sell. Last chance to sell. Get ready. And the chop continues. Ooh, buddy. We got 17 points out of that 500 break. It wasn't the... biggest and best thing ever, but... it worked, I guess. Something. Still on the 30 minute chart, we're staying above that 60 level. The NASDAQ just wants to kind of, we want to stay above that 60 level for the bulls. We got that VWAP still down there at the 408, 17,408, so. Really kind of. The nice thing is now I feel like you can definitely just kind of wait to break out on this 30 minute chart. 
See what this do we need this 30 minute candle to do something here. Looking at the hourly chart, you can see pretty much just right in the middle of that range of that candle. So <clears throat> needs something. Uh, we need some more likes here on the stream. We got 400 likes right now. We can do more. We can do more, baby. I know we can do more. Come on. NASDAQ still trying to kind of hold on to this 70 level. I want to see... Just, I want to get out of this range here. We are very much just in that 15 minute opening range now. Right back down there to the low again. NASDAQ loves it, baby. <laughs> uh, now the shorts are going to come back in and be like, look, I told you. Okay, hey, you win. You told us. The 80 point move back up, you really got us good. You really got me. I held my short through that 80 point move. Oh, man. I'm now I'm back to break even. All right. All right, mark it down here at the lows for now. Pivot points. See if we start selling through that pivot point. Take out that 15-minute opening range. I think we take that to the low. We take out the low now. They're at the 30s. Got pivot point down there at the uh, VWAP down there at the 409s. So. Little double bottom here. Trying to get back up there. Oh, buddy. Dude, it's not double bottom. Okay. It tapped the bottom double twice, three, double. I don't know. Seems like a double bottom. <clears throat> you 
seemed like a double bottom down there. Fourteen EMA straight through that again. All right, all right, straight back up here again. Welcome to Friday, baby. Massive move overnight. Expected some choppy action here today. Yeah, gotta love it. Can we keep this party going? Your wife said that my voice turns her on. Oh, God. And how I feel about that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you from the Netherlands? No, I'm from Florida, bro. Born and raised in Florida. Ugh. All right, all right. Again, just back into the middle of that 15 minute range. We've tested the lows now twice. We broke out, we trapped to the upside. We are in the middle of this range. What are you gonna do here? You know, what, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do here? A million dollar question. Elm, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, no, no boyfriend. Thank you for asking, but I have a girlfriend. It's no boyfriend. I gotta work on the boyfriend thing, I guess. You guys are all my boyfriends. Are you using order flow for entry and exit? No. You've asked the question 10 times. Like, come on. Fucking A, man. Market trying to push back up here through the 70s one more time. Is it possible? Can we do it? The ES trying to push up, the NASDAQ trying to push up here. We get above that 17,500 level, things get interesting. So as of right now, just kind of sitting back, waiting and watching. Just in the middle of that range there, boys. In the middle of the 15 minute range. Thanks for the answer. Why are you so annoyed? I'm annoyed because you asked the question fucking 30 times in all caps. Like, are you a small child? Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
do 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 Alright, thanks. <laughs> Maybe if you answered his question, you wouldn't have to ask it 30 times. Totally. Make sure I never have to answer your question either. Samuel John, put a 15 second chart. You'll be amazed how much money you can make there. 15 seconds? I ain't got no time for that, man. NASDAQ still holding down here, holding it down. Both the ES, the NASDAQ trying to push up here. Need some momentum out of this range, boys. Let's get out of this range. The uh, Dow, the ES, both pushing up. NASDAQ lagging here. I really don't get why people want to watch your stream when you're so toxic. Totally fine. I'll help you out. Please don't watch my stream. Warning, warning, toxic, toxic. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't understand why anybody would watch you. Typing, typing, typing. Wait. I watch you. Uh... <laughs> I don't understand what kind of idiot would watch Patch Wheel live on YouTube. This guy is such so fucking toxic. He's the worst. And then you're like, wait. Did you just ask that question? Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh. I'm 35 years old. 35 years old. How long it took you to get where you're at? 35 years, baby. I've been grinding since the day I was born. I was fucking, the day I came out, I was like, ooh, how much money can I make? Been grinding, baby. Grinding. What's my P&L? My P&L right now, $1,200 across 15 accounts. Uh, I don't know, how much math is that? $1,200 times 15 accounts. Sixteen thousand or so? Eighteen thousand. <laughs> you call yourself a boy or a man? I call myself a boy. Wait, does anybody call themselves anything? Like, hey, I'm a boy. Hey, I'm a man. I don't I don't mean like do you really call yourself that? Oh man. 
All right, NASDAQ down to the lows again. I'm trying to like just avoid make I don't want to make any I don't want to make any reaction to this thing right now. Like I just it's very trappy. I would love to see like us actually do something here cuz right now this could really, I mean, go either direction. There is the VWAP down there. There is this 400 level. I don't know. I just don't love, I don't love the, uh, like the short setup right here, right now. It is, I mean, that is 20, 30 points to the downside, but I just know there's a good chance that we react off of that uh, VWAP there. Off that VWAP. -a. VWAP, VWAP. It is nice. It's just a good word to say, man. I like the VWAP. Y'all ever looked at the VWAP over there? Oh, that VWAP is always so nice. What y'all think about the VWAP? VWAP, WAP, 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 WAP. It's, it's just a good word, you know? Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. And again, pushing right back up there, so. Dollar selling down. NASDAQ trying to push back up. Tapping that 14 EMA once again. Patrick, what's the best pickup truck for your money? Uh, I mean, F-150, I think. Ford F-150, baby. Patrick, do you lose a lot of money today? Yes, I lost everything. Please donate by hitting the like button. If you can, please, thank you. Please and thank you. What do you think about a payout with the following profit days? 1,700, 500, 350, 450. Yeah, I think you're, you're doing great, my friend. Nice work. That's what I think about it. Don't know what else to say. Great job. Keep it going. Don't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Yeah, my computer's fucking got too much shit on it right now. It's freaking out. I gotta delete some old video recordings. <laughs> oh, my local disc is fucking loaded. Oh, fuck. Now we fucked up. Now we fucked up. <laughs> fuck. Now we fucked up. We fucked up. I deleted the wrong thing. I deleted the fucking... Uh, market moving down here now. I don't have my thingies. All my thingies are gone now. Oh, no. Shit. 
Market down there to the 440s. The fuck's this thing gonna do, man? There we go. Breaking the range, finally. Can we get through the VWAP there next, or do we find support at the VWAP here? Bam bam bam. Bam 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 Oh, we're back. Hey, man. Not much. You talked to Connor. He said he. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I think he he might have called you right after. Oh yeah. Yeah. No worries. It's he's calling about the same thing. Basically, that port motor is just, it has an alarm and there's nothing, like, it runs perfectly fine. It doesn't, like, there's no actual fucking, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it just, it just beeps. Yeah, it just, so that, I got that survey done yesterday and everything came back fine, except for they put on there that the port motor is beeping. So... Yeah, so I just basically need to somehow figure out how to stop that and then basically get like an invoice from you saying that you fixed the beeping. I mean, you know, Boaten, it's always la everything last minute. Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, I think, yeah, I mean, I think Monday would work. I think, yeah, he wants to pick it up next Friday, so you're all right. Yeah, Monday next week would be great. It's okay. I thought they went to the Bahamas today. They didn't go. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, it's probably just something stupid for sure. So just need to basically get it to stop showing that alarm, and then we're good to go. Awesome. Thanks, man. All right, all right. So the NASDAQ still chopping around, chopping around, chopping around, chopping around here. So I don't know. I'm up $18,000 on the day. I could walk away right now and just, just call it a day. Just call it a day right then and there. Just walk away. I could. Not bad. I don't know. We were right there at the VWAP now. Both the dollar, everything pulling back here. The dollar just kind of chopping around. Fuck. Pivot point to the downside there at the 17,340s, which would also put us kind of into this level here. And if we look at the Fibonacci retracement, 
but would also kind of put us down there into the 618 area as well for that pullback there. So, at this point, I'd have to see us kind of get some action below the uh, VWAP now. I don't know. 30 minute chart just painting the picture right now. Fucking A. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, she's selling. We're below that pivot, trying to get below the view op here now. Seventeen thousand three twenty down there. Three hundred. <laughs> 30 minute candle right off the VWAP there again. That's why I did not want to get short down here because expecting some choppy action there off the VWAP. If you guys haven't already checked out Apex, Apex is 80% off one day pass right now. It's going on. Oh, let's go. See if we push back up here into that 14 EMA, into that pivot point there. Retest that 15 minute opening range. Testing here, 30 to the 40s. So if we get denied there, well, be looking for that next leg down here build this bull f uh, bear flag out here consolidating below this pivot point there 46 is in this area and then from there hole oh. it's like they want to just take it straight down through that 400 level now. She's going crazy. VWAP trying to hold it up here. Oh, man. Banana, 
Uh, I don't love it. I don't love it, guys. I don't love it. I don't love it. I don't love it. I do not love it. Fuck. <clears throat> We're moving down. I would have liked a little bit more consolidate, like a little bit more of a push back up into this level. You know, that would have been nice. The story staying the same. Once again, the market overnight grinding higher and then selling off at open. Stock market just wants to go down. There we go, getting the break. Fuck. That sucks. I was wait I really wanted to get this retested here before moving down. But there she goes through the 400s was thinking we could kind of get up here that pivot maybe into this We did retest I guess that 15 minute opening range. We tested it there at the 30s and then made the move so I don't know. Cotton Eye Joe. All right, so. Like I said earlier this morning, my goal today was to basically make money and then get the fuck out of here. And right now, I feel like I'm exactly where I want it to be. Um, you can see on the day here, 3,000, 2,000, lots of thousands. So those Apex, I think there's 15 funded accounts right now, 2,200 across the board there. And just kind of scalping, scalping here and there. And still locking it down. So over $20,000, a couple more Apex 50K accounts. I've been trading mostly the 50K accounts lately, but look in, uh, see how this goes. But I think right now, just knowing that we had that big move overnight, there's just a lot of chop reasons for the market to kind of chop around here now. So. Clearly on the five minute chart, it has just been lower, 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 but. How do you manage the drawdown playing such big size? Uh, I spread it out across multiple accounts. So I trade like two contracts per account. So it spreads out the drawdown. That's the benefit of having the multiple accounts. You can spread it out, baby. How do you understand to stay away from the market? Um, million dollar question. I wish I, wish I had the answer to that because I would make a lot more money if I, if I knew when to stay away. So... I think the best thing you could do is kind of just force yourself to like, hey, if you're going to trade from 9 a.m. to 11 o'clock, trade 9 a.m. to 11 o'clock and then fucking turn it off. You know, turn it off. If you're having a red day, you're having a green day, whatever it is, turn off the fucking computer after you've hit your, you know, kind of specified time for the day. I would say the majority of my profits, the majority of the money that I lose happens from me trying to trade you know, in the middle of the day, at the end of the day, just like doing stupid shit when I'm not supposed to be trading. So. That would definitely be my lesson for you guys. Look at this thing. Fucking A. Ugh.
That was, I mean, this was the move we were looking for. I just fucking wanted just a little bit more back up. Look at that. I was thinking we could have, like I said, that candle right there just kind of fucking fucked up that whole setup there. We just didn't get, if we had had like one or two more candles to fill this out, we would have been sitting pretty right now, but it just wanted to go straight down. Look at this thing still going down there to the 60s now. Pivot point down there and we are moving. We uh, drew this out earlier, this 320 area on the 30 minute chart now. Looking very much in play there. 300, 17,300 down there. Fuck. Oh! It's fucking market sometimes. People always, people always ask about like, you know, oh, what's the hardest part about trading? This is the fucking hardest part, right? This is literally the hardest part of trading. If I had to think about it, like what is the hardest part of trading? Very simple. It's having a plan. And then when the plan doesn't exactly do what you want, then watching the market basically do what you thought it would do. So like we wanted to get a short here. We are looking for more of a push back up, kind of put in that higher, that lower high here in the 440s. That would have been ideal, right? We'd have been ideal, but it just didn't get there. And now you can see from the 30s all the way down there to the 360s. So almost a little, you know, moving for that 100 point move and it's the fucking, it's the hardest shit sometimes. Cause what do you do now? Do you chase it? Do you fucking FOMO into the bottom and then fucking get blown up? Ugh, it's hard. It's hard. Don't FOMO, that's for sure. I know that. I'll tell you that. It's best secret to life here. But still, I mean, the 15-minute opening range. Fucking paying the bills, man. It's paying the bills these days. Look at that thing. That dotted line is a 15 minute opening range. We kind of broke below it, popped back up, and then finally got stuck. So, ugh. A wise YouTuber once said, if you didn't get in here, why get in here? Hey, ain't that truth. If I didn't get short when it was here, why the fuck would I get short when it's here? If I didn't get short when it was up here, why the fuck would I short it down here? So. Oof. We're moving. We are moving down. Our, our little circle coming in play there. Just got to move it over just a little bit here. <laughs> just move it over just a little bit right there. Okay, now it's got to hit it. Ugh, it's painful. Ugh, blah, 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 blah. This is the 30 minute chart we're looking at right now. Fucking A. Yellow dot tapped. Will I be live next week? I will be. I'll be live next week. All right. Either way, we, uh, I think the plan.
What's my bias from next week? I don't have a bias. I don't really, I, trust me, when I turn this computer off, when I turn this fucking computer off today, I am not thinking about anything else with to do with the market. I'm fucking done. Not gonna be thinking about fucking what the market's gonna do next week or, yeah, no, it's, don't give a fuck about anything to do with the market over the weekend. Did you have any issues when you first started streaming and trading in front of people? Um, I mean, I still have issues. <laughs> I still have issues, so yeah, no. Look at that pivot point, fucking A. Bouncing off the pivot point, 340s, right back up there, 60 fucking points off the pivot point in four minutes. God. What the fuck? You still get nervous when trading in front of people? Uh, it's not, I don't really get nervous. I just, sometimes I'll end up taking a trade off early or locking in profit or maybe getting stopped out early because I just don't want to listen to the idiots in the chat that are like sitting there. Like I definitely take profit early a lot of times because it's like, I see that I'm up $3,000 and I'm like, well, if I take $3,000 profit right here, like everybody in the chat can be like, well, you killed it, you know, but. <clears throat> There we go. Back to the VWAP now. Here's a very interesting setup. If you're looking for a long, right? Look at this long setup here. If we, if we flip this, if we get back above 420s, back above the VWAP, I think the longs come in. If we get stuck below the VWAP and we don't, you know get above it, well then obviously we're going down. But as of right now, we bounced right off that 360 area, 340s, that was an area we bounced off overnight. I'm not bearish or bullish at this point, I'm just basically pointing out that above the VWAP, we could start to push back up here. Below the VWAP, not so hot, so. Crypto Jeff. Patrick Whelan, thank you so much. Just got two Apex accounts funded after studying your futures masterclass over and over all last week. You the man. Holy shit. Let's go, Crypto Jeff. He's in the house. He's killing it. He's on it. He's up. He's down. He's all around, baby. Sniper, sniping, sniping. <laughs> Big thank you, Crypto Jeff. Five dollars. Love it. Love to see it, my friend. Big thank you. Big thank you. Now I can afford to eat Chipotle today. Thank you for that. One plus one equals ABC live the spectrum. What are you trading? Uh, Pokemon cards. The, today we're focused on the Charizard Holographic. Right now, you can buy a Charizard Holographic for $17,391. Um, speculators believe that possibly the Charizard could go up to uh, 17500 today. We'll find out. You never know. <coughs> Justin. You just need two hundred dollars to take a payout from your top step account. Ooh, patience, my friends. There will be a good move at some point here to make two hundred bucks. That's for sure. I mean, right now this is setting up to move back down below the fourteen EMA here. Let's see what happens. What am I going to name my new boat? Um, I, I don't want to announce it just yet because I don't want to like jinx it, but uh, I got a pretty good name. Um, so it's going to be different than my team name. So the fishing team name is liquidated, but I want to name the boat a different name. So I'll talk more about it once it's actually done. I don't want to jinx it. 
You don't want you don't want to start talking about boat names until you actually have the boat to put a name on. Charizard. Holographic Charizard is the boat name. How'd you guys know it? <laughs> ICT. That's what I'm gonna name it. Intercoastal Time. All right, NASDAQ looking weak here. We go down, take out that 40 area next. Call my name the VWAP. I feel like someone might might uh, misinterpret the VWAP with something else. You know, something about wet. You know what? <laughs> oh, buddy. I think we go lower here. Everything getting denied pretty hard right now. The QQQ getting denied there at that pivot point. Trying to move down. 415, 97 pivot point to the downside there next. Just gotta be careful, this is not a kind of higher low here. We don't want this kind of putting in that higher low for now. It looks weak though. It does look weak. For the pivot points, for the million motherfucking time of my whole entire life, pivot point standard is what I use on TradingView. Please, people, hit the like button. If you're going to ask stupid questions, at least hit the like button. That's all. I think, like, I'm never going to show the fucking pivot points indicator ever again because it's just like, at this point, it's done. Secret. The secret is out. All right, so the NASDAQ move it down here. Where's the guy that needed 200 bucks to, pa uh, to get a payout? I hope you made 200 bucks by now. Guys, I could literally have a video down below um, that says like all of my indicators and people would still ask the same questions. Hole in two, gifted five patch wheel memberships. Let's go. MVP of the day. Can a guy with no experience join Apex or should you learn first? I would say probably uh, probably learn first would be a good good idea, you know. Nothing wrong with learning before doing. We're about to take out this pivot. What does ICT stand for? I can't trade. Oh, buddy. Why do you dislike him? I don't dislike him. Like, I can make jokes about someone and not dislike someone. I don't, people think that I like hate everybody. I don't hate anybody. Even Danny Trades. He's a little, you know, little short fat kid with a mustache. Like, I don't hate him. You know, it's like, just, it is what it is. You know, they all want to be me. When they grow up, they want to be just like me, baby. But yeah.
You really think ICT can't trade? Jokes aside. Yes, 100%. Are you kidding me? Come on. There's a better chance that fucking Santa Claus exists in every fucking Christmas. He flies around the world and fucking, you know, literally. There's a better chance that fucking motherfucking Santa Claus exists in every fucking year. He flies around the world and goes down people's fucking chimneys and leaves fucking presents where the Christmas tree is. That There's a better chance of that being a reality than the reality of ICT motherfucking actually making money as a trader. That is the truth. There is a better logical chance that motherfucking Santa Claus exists. The actual possibility that ICT can actually make money trading is zero. Zero. But there is a very small chance that fucking Santa Claus does exist. You know? Zero chance that ICT makes money. One percent chance that Santa Claus exists. His methods work. Guys, my methods work too. My method, you know what I mean? Everybody's method works. You know what I mean? Everybody's fucking method trading works. That's not like, I just love the argument. The argument is, well, Patrick, ICT, everybody who trades ICT makes money. It's like, oh, okay, okay. It's like the pivot points. Oh my God, guys, the pivot points. Patrick Whelan invented the stock market. I put the pivot points on the chart. The market does exactly what I tell it to do. The market hit the pivot point, it bounced, it went up. I knew that would happen. I knew it, you know? It's like, hey, same thing as this. Oh my God, guess what? The 15 minute opening range, the strategy, it works. Are you guys all millionaires because of Patrick Whelan? Did you know that if it breaks the 15 minute opening range that it's gonna go lower? Oh my God, it works. Everybody's fucking rich. Just because a strategy works back testing it does not mean that you can make money trading it. That is the God's honest truth. So everybody that's like, well, ICT works. Okay, then why the fuck are you on my YouTube channel watching me? Why are you watching me on YouTube if motherfucking ICT works? Why aren't you a millionaire? Why aren't you a goddamn billionaire living on a yacht? Getting your dick sucked every day. Why? Why are you here? If ICT works, why are you here? Think about that. God! Blows my mind every day. Blows my mind. Fucking blows my mind, man. Well, there's the pivot point chopper Rooney. Salmo, uh, Salmo Josal. I have Patrick, you have a fit. I have a 50 K account with apex yesterday. I opened the account and today you made fifteen hundred dollars. That that does that mean you're funded, or you have to trade more? If you've hit the profit target for the twenty-five k account, which would be fifteen hundred dollars, you do not have to trade anymore. Tonight, you'll get an email from Apex saying that you have passed the uh, evaluation. So, very simple. Have I ever thought about becoming an actor? What do you think I'm doing here? You think this is real life? You think I just sit around my house all day fucking yelling and screaming about ICT? No. 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 I am an actor. I literally get paid. I'm getting paid millions of dollars to act on YouTube every day. You got what you think? This is trading. You think this is fucking trading advice? No. I don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing. I'm the worst trader on the fucking internet. Why would anyone watch me? Crazy people. Again, if I could make millions and millions of dollars trading, the last thing that I'd be fucking doing is sitting on YouTube, to be honest. Like, just being honest with you guys. I like you guys. You guys are cool people. 
you know, but you know, if I was making millions and millions of dollars trading, I'd be on my fucking yacht getting fed. Fucking be sitting there with my shirt off like this, you know, just ooh, glasses on, just sitting back, loving life. This is me. If I was making a million dollars trading, I'd just be sitting there getting fed with my trophy. You know, you gotta have the trophy. The trophy is king. Number one trader on YouTube is real. See if I can break it. It's a participation trophy. I bought it for myself. Just to tell people it's the number one trader on YouTube. I got an award. There's nothing on it. <laughs> oh, God. You know what I do have, though? Look at that little sexy thing. McLaren key. These little fucking things are worthless, by the way. McLarens, don't leave your key in the fucking car. It'll drain the battery. I, I haven't done it because I know don't do it, but... I have to literally hide my keys. I put my keys in, an, in a place in the house as far away as possible away from the McLaren because the fucking McLaren, the battery will run dead if you have the keys anywhere near it. So, oh my, look at this thing. 344. Up to the 400s, the pivot points. Hey. How can you start a shitty YouTube channel? Uh, just start one, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot of fucking YouTubers out there that try to do what I do, but there's a reason that most people have no fucking clue that they exist. Did you, wait. You told me to get long? You told me to get long? Why did I not listen to the random name in the chat? Why? What the... <laughs> What am I gonna do now? I didn't listen to the random fucking name in the chat that told me to get long. I should have gotten long. Why did I not get long? God. <laughs> uh, why did I not get long, man? You know, I just gotta get long. What are your rules with the 15 minute range? Uh, well, very simple, actually. Uh, the rule is... Basically, once we break the 15 minute range, uh, we look for an opportunity to make a trade. And well, there's your 15 minute opening range, the low of that candle right there. We actually broke to the upside, by the way, too. So yes, there are traps. Traps do happen, but that's any strategy. There is no strategy that is 100%. There is zero strategy in the entire fucking world that is 100%. I don't care what anyone says, ICT, fucking, whatever strategy you're trading, they're all fucking, they all, none of them are 100%. But let's just talk about like how I, how you can trade this and avoid, you know, losing everything because you got trapped. Well, you see me guys, what I, I'm notorious for, I'm notorious for taking either small profit or getting out for break even. I just like, it's an instinct for me. If I don't see, if something's not doing what I want to do, if I don't see that move happening, I'll get out early. But let's say you, let's just say you bought the breakout, you know, over 500. At that point, it goes up, what, uh, 17? I, I just think you really, if you're trading, you can't let 10 points turn into zero points. And I've done that plenty of times, but like, it's gotta be a rule that like, if you get to a point where you're up 10, you know, 10 points on a trade, like, just move your stop up 10 points. Lock it in, you know what I mean? Like, just fucking be in it. And then, if you see to the downside here, how beautifully this worked out today. So we broke to the downside, we got stuck on that candle, we retested it again there at the 429s, and look at that. Right on down there to that next pivot point. Is it magical? Is it fucking rocket science? It's not! But, uh, yeah. So, it works. Am I going to tell you that I'm the fucking best trader in the world because I explain how the 15 minute opening range strategy works? That Patrick Whelan strategy is the end all be all and you guys should everybody just fucking worship me and bow down and tell you, tell everybody how amazing I am? No. Because again, the stock market has been around for a very long time and every, every idea has already been been talked about multiple i mean there's fucking people that write books about the 15 minute opening range strategy i mean it's not fucking rocket science so um yeah you know just remember every idea that you've had somebody had the same idea so 
Just putting that out there. And again, I think every strategy, if you have a strategy that, you know, the risk reward is there, it, it's fine. I see people that have a very low win rate. I've seen people that have like a 30% win rate that make lots and lots of money. You know, it has nothing to do with this idea that you have to make, you have to be 100% right all the time. It really doesn't. Like there's plenty of people that lose more than they win, but they're smart to, to cut off their losers. They let their winners run. So yeah. Patrick, is controlling emotions still the most important aspect of trading? 100%. 100 fucking percent. There is no, there is nothing about trading that is more important than emotion. There really isn't. Like, you can have all the strategies in the world, you know, all that shit. Like, it don't matter. If you can't control your fucking emotions, it don't matter. And, I'll, and I'm standing here telling you as somebody who fucking knows, you know, I know. I know. I know. But I, I go through it. I'd have a lot more money if I would have fucking just got rid of all my emotions. But hey, clearly you guys see why I'm on YouTube and I'm not a full-time trader. <laughs> this is why I'm on YouTube and I don't fucking trade for a living. Because my emotions. I would say probably one of my worst emotions as well is like wanting to be right. That's also, that can be a big problem sometimes as well. Like that, trying to like being, wanting to be right, you know, and holding a loser for longer, whatever it is, like that's probably one, that's also like number two worst emotion. The W pattern, Patrick Whelan. Wee PW baby, use the code PW always. Look at that, it worked, indicator. If it goes through this high right here, the PW setup. We got the double bottom off the P, we got the W, it's, fuck, is it a coincidence? I think not. I think not. So to be clear, you make more money from sales than you do from YouTube. I make more money than just everything. Just whatever, however much money you make, just think about like, I make way more than that. So that's pretty much what it comes down to. Like pretty much like whatever you like think is like, whatever you think I make, just think about like a lot more. Like I make a lot more. <clears throat> I guarantee it. I fucking guarantee it. I guarantee I'm the highest paid YouTuber in the trading space. So 100%. You can count on it. The Magic 8-Ball said you can count on it. I didn't really ask it a question though. You make 200,000 a year? Uh, no. That's my, like, bare minimum. Like, I gotta make $200,000 just a fucking, just in the first, first month, you know? First month of the year, I need 200000 I need about $200,000 a month to live, honestly. I know, it's expensive being me, baby. It's expensive. I got about $100,000 in expenses, pretty much. Boating is expensive, man. All right, interested to see if this is going to round off and start to move back down. ICT makes at least $30,000 a month. From what? From YouTube? Not from trading, that's for sure. How much is a boat gas? Normally, uh, we spend around like six to $7,000 a month on boat gas. It just depends. All right. We got six more minutes here until uh, I'm going to walk away. This is your time to answer. I'll answer questions. What do you want to talk about? What do you got? Hit that like button if you haven't already, by the way. If I made 10,000, if you made $10,000 trading and then keep blowing up your accounts, should you just give up? I mean, how long have you been trading for? Do you think that ICT will pay you the bet that you made with him? No fucking way. ICT is not going to pay me. Are you kidding me? He'll have, he'll have a million excuses. Oh, my, my pinky toe. 
oh, I, I couldn't trade this year because my fucking, my pinky toe was broken for most of the year. And, you know, it's just very important for me to have a pinky toe. Next is a private jet. Uh, no. Private jet is, like, big time money. You gotta have, like, like, stupid money. You need to be making a million dollars a month to have a private jet. Why do you trade via a prop firm instead of your own account? I mean, if you can't put two and two together, then me answering that question won't help you, so... Why does why does Lewis Hamilton drive a Mercedes? I don't know. Question. Trick Silver, uh, appreciate the content. Learned a lot off your tips. Was able to pass the Apex account after watching your streams for only two months. Let's go. Why no bodyguard? I gotta get a bodyguard, man. How many accounts did you use to make 18,000? Uh, 15 accounts today. Why do billionaires always keep borrowing? That's the answer. Because they don't want to use their own money, I guess? I don't know. I've been told that it's better to use other people's money for business than your own money. From rich people. Rich people have told me. Yeah, I mean, it, it's funny because I have about, I don't know, $500,000 cash in the bank right now. Like, legit $500,000 cash. And uh, I'm trying to get finance for my new boat. My new boat's $500,000. And I'm trying to get it financed. And it's funny because the bank... You know, they see me as, like, not really, I don't really have a job. Market moving back down through the 400s again. Like I said, kind of roll, looked like it was going to roll back down here. But uh, I basically don't have, like, a normal job. So the bank, even though I have $500,000 cash just sitting there, half a million dollars ready to go, they're like, yeah, but we need something else. Like, we need more proof. I'm like, proof of what? Proof that I can just buy the fucking boat without you? No. I, 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 come on. How often do you get a chance to get to Hawaii? Uh, I was just in Hawaii like a month ago or two months ago. Pat, today I made big money. I'm going to buy a shirt like me. Hey, let's go, baby. Why not an Audi R8? I do like the Audi R8, but I think uh, the McLaren is just a different ball game from people's perception, right? The problem with the Audi is that no matter what, it's an Audi. So it's a... It's the Audi R8. You know, it's not like, it's still like, people see it, they're like, oh, it's an Audi. And like, it's cool, but it's like, it's still like, that's an Audi. But McLaren, you're like, what the fuck is a McLaren? People will be like, I never even heard of McLaren. There are people out there be like, what is a McLaren? So McLaren definitely has like more of a, of a flex for sure. <laughs> What's at the finish line for you? What's the end goal? I mean, honestly, if I if I if you asked me that question three years ago, five years ago, I wouldn't have had an answer because I wouldn't have thought I'd be where I'm at now. But as of right now, I think just kind of keep going, keep doing what we're doing, baby. I don't really see any reason to stop. Just keep fucking making money until uh, until you stop making money, I guess. Mercedes or BMW? Probably a BMW, to be honest. I like BMWs more.
These slow, I, they, when the market starts getting very slow in these certain levels, it's like, it's fucking, it's a, it's a roll of the dice right here. You would think that, you know, logically this would want to move down to that pivot, but I've seen this far too many times where this obvious short just all of a sudden fucking squeezes straight back up, so. I'm staying out of it either way. I'm just going to walk away up over $20,000 on the day. Why, you know, why push it? I don't need more than that. Or maybe I do. So, pivot point to the downside there, 43s. Fucking Iran and fucking Israel right now. The whole Middle East, like looking at the news, like this fucking market. It just, you know what it is? It's fucking Iran pumping the price of oil. 100 fucking percent. That's what they're doing. People think that they're trying to like actually create a fucking war. They're not trying to create a war. They're just trying to pump the fucking price of oil. 100 percent. That's all it is. Fucking Iran over there just getting richer and richer. Those fuckers have so much money. Like, you guys don't even understand how much fucking money those guys have. It's crazy. Like, crazy. Like, people don't, I think people really have no clue when you think about it. Like, look at this shit. Um, the world's most profitable company is not Apple or Google. It's a fucking Saudi Arabian company. It's crazy how much fucking money these guys make. Last year, they reported a net income of 161 billion. 161 billion. Like they just, they smoke every other thing. What's crazy is Apple's annual net income was 99 billion in 2021. Yeah. For the quarter, yeah. Fucking. Yeah, net, the income of everybody else is declining. Like even fucking Apple's net income from 2022 was 59 billion. These motherfuckers are making triple that. Do you know how much money 161 billion is? They make so much goddamn money. And anyone that thinks what they're doing over there is there it's all just fucking a game. They're just trying to pump like imagine if you basically like knew exactly how to make billions and billions of dollars. What do you do? Like, okay, what do I do? I have I have a bunch of oil. Okay, I'll just send a bunch of missiles at Israel, start a little fake war, I'll pump the price of oil. Okay, yeah, I like it. It makes sense. So. Saudi is not Iran. I, it's not Iran, but Iran's got just as fucking much oil. They're all, in, they're all in bed together, let's be honest. They all in bed together. What was the most that you made in a day at Apex? Uh, I think I had one time I made like 30 grand um, off of one PA account, but then I've had multiple accounts where I've had like $5,000 a day, so I don't know, 40, 50 grand. If someone starts making money on trading, would you recommend opening up a YouTube channel even if it has like two subscribers for the tax benefits? Um... I don't know. I think you got to talk to your talk to your accountant on that one. All right, all right. So the Nasdaq moving on back down there to the pivot point. Guess what? Guess what happened? Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? What happened? Oh, buddy. VWAP resistance 409s back to the 360s. So I'm going to walk away. I got to go to the bank. I got to fucking wire transfer money. I got things to do. I got meetings. I got all types of fun stuff going on. So I will see you guys on the flip side. If you haven't already hit that like button, subscribe button, you know what to do. We'll be back. We got big giveaways going on next week. 
And uh, yeah, always use the code PWAPEX, 80% off. We got giveaways, only prop verbs, and I'll see you guys next Monday. Next Monday, baby. Peace to the Middle East!